Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We've just installed Arshlabs 5.0 inside VirtualBox and we're looking at it. And we're actually working on 5.0 at this time. And what's next? You've installed everything on the system? Well, depending on where you are, you do the following. So this is our system. Fine. Right mouse click. File Manager. You better press Ctrl H if you don't recall it. It's in here. Show hidden files. And then you put this one here. Config is important. Open box is important. Yeah. And another one that's i3 because that's our new desktop environment we're getting for the two for the price of one, you know. What next? First installation and first reboot. I go and check the scripts. Why? Depending on what you want. Um, you can run these. This one, delete the latest kernel in case something goes wrong, has been added because at some point there was a problem in mid-June and um, our team had issues all over the world. So it was a kernel thing. So we made this little script that is going to delete the LTS. I'm going to change the name here. The LTS kernel in case something goes wrong. Okay, fine. And this one is going to delete a VirtualBox application, but we are in VirtualBox. If we're going to delete this now in VirtualBox, it will not work anymore. But if you are on a hard disk and an SSD, this is the first thing I do. This one is from time to time you are building the ISO and then you find these servers not responding. So out of need, out of necessity, we've added also a little script that gives me the fastest service around my area meaning the same will work for you this one will get the conkeys the conkeys are already new but if in a month's time we add more conkeys the only thing you have to do is run this and you get the conkeys from our github to your machine this one is for icons and icons are the ones that um, are fixed we press alt f3 which is one of the shortcuts alt f3 is going to activate it and here you see the icons but some of these icons are ugly meaning they're not ugly but they are out of theme they are not following the theme you're using and it doesn't matter what you're using if you're using numix or papyrus or anything they will be out of theme why well because of these hard-coded elements the software engineers still are keeping so guys don't do it and you don't have to run the script so there's this hard code fixer you can run that one and it's going to check in all the files the applications you're having you see the hp the hard info and now these are fixed let's check alt f3 scroll down all colors are normal yes there's no one that sticks out everything has been fixed that's why the hard code fixer is there and then install the LTS kernel and install not for VirtualBox. So that's just for your own uh, SSD or hard disk. So those are the things you should check out prior to doing anything else. All right. 